good morning lovely souls it's sim wild and it's monday so i'm gonna do a little it's today is usually meditation monday or walking meditation monday but i'm going to use this period of time to talk a little bit about a symbol which is very very dear to my heart and is very important in the role of the ascension process and also i get asked why this symbol is actually next to my name um, on my website, the Tim Wild, uh, my timwild.com website. And it is the symbol of the ankh, okay? This is a crystal ankh. I also wear one around my neck on a regular basis. So most of you will be of, aware of the symbol of the ankh and will associate it immediately with, with, with Egypt, ancient Egypt. And, um, during the third dimension, um, or, yeah, or back in the days of the third dimension, it was associated with the sacral chakra and and the and the, the kind of the the energy of of love and and union and and sexuality. But the actual origins and the history, as as the information has been given to me of the Ankh goes back to Atlantean times and the reason why it's been coming forward as repeatedly is so important to me is the fact that the Atlanteans used to use the symbol of the Ankh almost as a key for the fifth dimensional heart centre. So when I've been over the years, particularly over the last five years or so, when I've been working with the, my fifth dimensional heart centre and working with other people's fifth dimensional heart centres, the Ankh has appeared in gold in the centre. And the second book that Diana Cooper and I wrote together, The Archangel Guide to Enlightenment and Mastery, the, the, the artwork on the front of the book cover is actually our planet with an Ankh key unlocking it in the centre. So e even though this, the, the Egyptian version of the Ankh was very important, and was re was revered within their culture the actual power of the symbology is far greater than than was actually originally thought and it's to me it's the most important symbol of the the, the fifth dimensional movement the energy that, that we are that we are working with at the moment and as you as you probably know or are aware the fifth dimensional heart center is our power core it is the absolute be all and end all the center of our ascension process the whole idea or process that we're going through at the moment is moving from ego to love from 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 the lower frequencies into the heart-based frequencies so the idea the, the idea of unlocking the heart center with a key has always been it's, it's always seemed very poignant to me also, I've, all, I've w working with the symbol of the ank. I found out that it increases the quantity of light that we are able to hold within our fields, and also protects the heart centre. So yeah, I, I use it on a very regular basis. It's a sim, it's a symbol which I associate with myself with the work that I do. So just take a few moments this morning wherever you are in the world, wherever you listen to this. Just if you can, just close your eyes for a few moments. Take your right hand, place it on your heart center and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just visualize in your, in your mind's eye, a bright golden ankh lighting up within the center of your heart. And with every breath, this golden ankh is becoming brighter. So taking another deep breath in. And the golden ank within the centre of your pure white heart is now glowing very brightly. You might even want to see it and sense it and feel it being the same size as your hand. And just allow it to solidify, to grow. You might even feel the radiance and the power of the golden ank within the centre of your heart. And the golden light that it produces is not staying within the center it is now spreading outwards so feel the gold from the ankh we need to spread out through your heart center through your shoulders moving down through your body 
down your legs, down your arms to the tips of your fingers, out above the top of your head. And with every out breath, it is now beginning to form <clears throat> a golden field of light all around you. So when you feel that the ankh within your heart centre, this beautiful golden symbol, has created a golden bubble of light around you, just sit within this field of energy for a few moments. And now ask the ankh and your heart centre to form a geometry around you which is perfect for your energy for your biosphere, for your fields of reality. And this could be a pyramid, it could be a cube, it could be a triangle. I always like to form pyramids around myself. They're a very protective, very stable geometry. So I am now allowing the light of the ankh that was spherical to now form into a pyramid around me. And this is being driven by the light and the power of my own heart centre. I'm just allowing it to set this field. Now within this particular field of light, I can now call in any energies that I want. I'm, I'm particularly favouring the gold ray of Christ and the Mahatma energy and the rain, the the rainbow violet flame at the moment, the golden rainbow violet flame. So I'm just asking those energies to now come in for me. The gold ray of Christ, the golden rainbow flame, the Mahatma energy, and just allow this to flood into my sacred geometry that I have around me and light me up. And just sit a few moments more within this field of light. This is just one of many techniques that you can you can do with your heart, but using the symbol of the ankh it is particularly powerful because it is literally the key to the heart center. And when you're ready, come back to where we are. So this is why I'm very I'm 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 very anky. I I always have anks around me. I have the I wear the symbol around my neck. It is on my website, not just simply because of my connection with ancient Egypt and with Atlantis. It's because I believe it is the, if not one of, it's one of the, if not the most powerful symbols that we have available to us in this in this in this journey to the golden era. So I hope you've all waking up to a lovely day on Monday, or it could be the end of your day on Sunday night if you're listening to this now, depending on what part of the world you're in. And uh, I'll be giving an energy and an ascension report update at the end of the week. We've got some very interesting energies coming in at the moment, some very interesting circumstances that we are all experiencing. And I will analyse this and break this down for you as I normally do a bit later on in the week. Sending you all loads of love. Bye for now. See you soon.